and welcome back where exactly where we ended we are just engaging into yet another battle which is most likely not gonna be no it's not gonna be very interesting you're here yes i am in battle all right so now we have an additional airships in the air and more of a block count which means that our enemies uh, are oh I will now, I hope, hopefully that the enemy will be able to spawn in more than a couple of ships. Um, but it is... I'm already now considering, is it already too much on the block count for our... Uh, <laughs> I mean, it spawned in two, this was not the largest star, so I already had the advantage of one way or another. But... Yeah, then it's blowy up. One plane, oh, the other one is already dead, pretty much. And now there should be the Ripper there. The first game played through where uh, the first ships that I met from the White Flares in the first game play were was it with these things, Rippers, and there were like tons of them. Ripper in every single fleet. And them were they annoying. These the advanced cannons they were using were just like function for everything. It was in between the updates, as I said. So these things were kind of overpowered. One thing I'm not seeing in this though is I I know that the white flares had submarines I have yet to see it on a easier difficulty I do know they spawn them do they spawn them on this difficulty as well hmm they do not I, I'm not sure anymore I do know they have submarines and they're not like horribly bad submarines so like to see them. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, so far no submarines. Uh, we saw a lot of thundercrafts and some auto ships, and of course, plenty of. I will ram you to that ships, which uh, standard white flare tactics. So yeah, somewhat of, of what. Uh, white friends would have as a standard composition of their fleet. That's what we saw. We'd like to see some of their subs, though. They're not that horribly bad. And this is over with. Let's pull on. Okay, let's wait for a uh, resupplyment vessel to kind of catch up. Really? Oh, come on. Oh, it's... Are we at that stage of the game where we are starting to lag? Moving now. Most likely, yes. We could be wrong, but now we're not. Well, resupplyment vessels are doing their thing. Okay, this one is producing fuel. This one is producing fuel. Keep no more else, yes. Yeah. Receiving. Okay, for 25. Keep full of fuel. Yeah, keep full of fuel and all of some energy. So be fuel, yes, and what am I want? Fuel and energy. There. I think they're all set up. Oh my god. Black times of times. Oh. Alright. Let's get out. Receiving. Moving now. 
just talks about things. It's got like slightly bit low on fuel there. Listening. Hmm. Listening. Moving out. Hey, there is also that. Uh, Receiving. Uh, set the selected fleets to be supply planes and fleets that they will take from and give to. Take from the furnace. Take from, yes, the furnace, sure. Uh, port, port, sure. Bellow, no. Nice. Starting fortress, take from. And give. No. Okay. Uh, where is it? Vehicle 400, give to. Uh, we can 400 give to. We can 25, we can 30, we can 42. The zealot, I'm, I'm not disappointed. Really okay. Hopefully, this will. I, I just had this odd feeling that they were not getting uh, the fuel on their ships. Oh, yeah. Receiving. Move. Moving now. Alright. Uh, come on! Oh, pipes. Hmm, zealot. Okay, a bit back. Give the battle. Oh. Uh oh. I think. Okay, we are we are properly selected. We just this thing co always confuses the lineup up there. Just always confuses. It has that yellow thing on top that doesn't really do anything but you, s you look at it and you're going that should do something right and you're thinking oh those are the selected forces right no they're not they're just yellow for absolute no good reason <laughs> and they do any they don't do anything it's just um it's like that it's just colors them like that for uh, as i said absolute no good reason Well, I, uh, I thought that one of our ships is, is be taking damage here, but apparently not. Oops, come on. We need uh, seriously a button. Skipping screens like that is okay, to say the least. And. It would be kind of funny how often I already set it to the screen, and there most likely is already a button. I'm just being ignorant of it or something. <laughs> I mean, to what I know, there is no actual third screen button, third third person view button, free camera button. This game has a lot of cameras, <laughs> so yeah, the free camera button but uh, I mean the currently the only way to get to it is like double tapping E or double tapping N and both of them actually switches screen to an ex com to a tactical map uh, strategic or tactical map and it, it does that quink quink so I don't think that's particularly good good neither for the game you still have to like switch use like that as it also switches all the command menus and stuff like that, so uh, it would be, in my opinion, better to have just a single button for this free camera. And here comes the main threat, the zealot. Now. I mean, it's the only the last ship remaining, and everybody should already target it. But just in case, if somebody did not get the number, okay. Everybody's shooting in this direction, and 
Oh! Uh, and that's the huge downside of using jets on a ship. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter how good the ship is, if you, it goes flying, you know. <laughs> You're free, my friend. Fly! <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the jets on the ship are kind of uh, annoying to use, as you can, you have to make it a balance in, in a such a way that it balances over the center of mass. Because if you're building it underneath, just slightly underneath, then the entire ship gonna pivot upwards and cause you problems. If you build on uh, top of the ship, uh, above the mass point, then the entire ship gonna sink straight into the water. And any damage you take to the jet engines, um, yeah, the ship gonna become nearby uncontrollable. So that is a huge downside for using jets while taking command. At the same time, um, they do make a ship much, much faster, so... And flight capable, as you saw there. <laughs> and you don't really have much of a choice of what you wanna use on, like, a hovercraft or something. It's either heli blades or, uh, or jets. Well, that's it. Unfortunately, come on. Ah, uh, we're gonna take. We're gonna take a here, I suppose. Oh no, we got. We are getting missed by an inch. Literally, I think it was like a block of distance. Yay! So it was the right choice to engage our AI back on. Which I actually completely forgot it was turned off and uh, could end up slightly embarrassing there. It's kind of annoying that the cram cannons also do this against faster targets. They're just. The turret is tracking them, but the cram is not raising up. And the same. The advanced cannons do the same thing. They just don't raise up and it's dangerous. So they have no chance of getting any target that is at high speeds. But the crown cannons are having a bit more of a problem because they there's pretty much big guns and take them that is with time as it is. So yeah. Mm. And the advanced cannons to the side, they ran out of ammo. They're just reloading them actually now. That is still the disadvantage of those 88mm guns. I did replace the 71 on those ships. But they, they just don't have enough ammo. Uh, I made. There is actually enough space in the hull, but right underneath that there are like fuel tanks, and I'm not bothered up enough to actually move those fuel tanks into a more uh, better position. As they also serve as a type of protection for engines that are also on the, in, in the center of the ship, right behind that. Two layers of armor, then there are a few tanks, then there is another layer of armor, then there are the engines. And right on top of that are, are, this, are the side guns. So I'm not like. If I drop them down, that would actually cause even more damage when they blow up. If they do blow up. And of course the engines will take that damage and will be disabled and currently the repair is kinda... <sighs> the repair is like the, the aim point selection. It just... It, it, the first thing it does is repairs the damage. Instead of actually, you know, repairing like control surfaces, propulsion, engines. The mobility that you want, you want controls and mobility, that's the first thing that... The, it should repair. Then it's the weapon system. The ammunition, pretty much the last thing on the list that you wanna repair. And well, the, it's often getting repaired the first, and everything else, uh, and the control is the last. So it's going right in the opposite order of, of repairs, which makes it really, really annoying from that time. And have a completely functioning ship, but there was this transmitter that was taken out, and it's just not getting repaired until, you know, everything else on the ship is not 
at a hundred percent and then it goes and repairs that transmitter so you have a completely functional ship in a fight that is just not doing anything because it refuses to repair itself properly just ah that's it's it's just it's their best fuck <laughs> and it's you may think of it it's kind of funny that it does that but once you're in a game it's oh my god the swearing <laughs> when it happens well battle finished all right let's fix our ships oh come on ah. And repair. And now we have the 150. Moving now. There. Listening. Moving out. All right. Receiving. Moving now. Okay. Um. Select. Listening. Moving out. Back. Yeah. Don't want you to engage things first. I want. Moving uh, out. Our bigger ships versus more sturdier of our designs, though. Now there is uh, the light. Opening hoods are not moving at all. Huh. Strange. Receiving. Uh, come on, let's drop this one. So it will not lag us anymore. Okay, you repair. Why did you not repair that? Moving now. Receiving. Moving now. Listening. Okay, 84. We're gonna join this. Ugh, oh, on. Moving out. Okay. You? Listening. You. Moving out. Listening. Moving out. I'm gonna join these two in another fleet and help them support the Zealot there. Mm. This campaign map does get really laggy at times, I must say that. Alright. Now that's uh, one of the bigger fleets that they have around the place. Uh, so everything in. And that's a Sharon. And it's nothing really dangerous. I expected something of maybe slightly bit more challenging. Oops. But apparently we are not getting that. Hmm. Okay, let's begin the battle. Just slightly bit Let's put them slightly bit backwards so I'm just in case. Because I do know that they're gonna be aiming for the biggest ship in this. So we put them slightly bit backwards. Everybody gets a shot at those charging vessels. Yay! is charging forward. I mean it does 80 meters a second so it's kinda expected to, to, to speed over pretty much all other ships in our fleet. It's not taking much of any damage is it? No. Oh ooh, did that might actually be bad. Yeah. Uh, The, the, the airship is not fully equipped yet, so taking hits for it is not the best idea. They are the advanced campers, but they are focusing on something else. Though. Yay. And somebody has to start shooting at these charging vessels down here. Okay, it got hit. It got hit. Apparently, missiles. Uh, at least I think they're on that was missiles. And there should be torpedoes coming your way. The airship does have torpedoes. Unless I screwed up something. Which is quite a possibility. Let us jump to the vehicle 400. Oops. Are you launching? Yes, you're launching. You're not broken or anything. Yes, to the trick. 
they're very long torpedoes though, and fairly large in size, so uh, they do take their time to reload. Fellas, come on, you know where, where you're supposed to be going. <sighs> what the hell? That now was a bit weird. Full tank target protection. Oh, yeah. Well, that that's a this is a a fuck up. I forgot to put on them one turn. Yeah. Okay, where are you? Okay. One turn. And and exit. How the hell did I forget that? No wonder you were not doing much of anything. I mean, that's pure embarrassing now. <sighs> now that's pretty much my style, you know, build an entire ship, forget one thing, it doesn't. <laughs> oh my god, the lag. Well, the Wake Protect is existing, it has taken some damage, and some of our ships are spawning in. Um, so, yeah, the enemy ships are kind of spawning in as well. Huge amount of wreck, I'm gonna have to pretty much close down the game for a second. F11. Silly phone. Um, it just rang and no one there. Or better to say, it was not working at all. It was just really white noise. That's all I heard. Uh, kind of funny. Oh my! Now I'm gonna turn it off. Give me a second. <laughs> the second time they call, still nothing but white noise. Game looking well. We are currently just waiting for more enemies to spawn, which yet again turned into a large amount of lag. That's our missiles shooting all the targets. And it's distinct. I must say distinct. 
this one is like really cool on my white cards, but it's uh, not very durable. And E. We need a special button for the, for the free camera. Yeah, it's already dead. And there is another one down, another one. Another small thing down here. C prime. Yeah, that's just having like little ships here and there. Those are not gonna survive long. You would expect a bit more from uh, from 154, so I must say that. Just a tiny one, a bit more. Because these small things, they just kind of like die in one shot. That's the disadvantage of building small. Uh, the weaponry in this game will just waste it in just one shot. It's that. I mean, look at this. It's three quarters gone. Oh yeah. Building stuff too small. <laughs> oh, I, I did try building stuff that would be small and uh, just didn't work. Yeah. I mean, it, it didn't work for me. I was just not happy with them at all. They could potentially work in the game. I didn't really try them all that much. Okay. And are you dead yet? Oh, there is still one more. You're still alive? No, actually you got spawned in later. I thought it was still the... the... the Kiamura or whatever that thing is. Uh, but apparently it was something else, yeah. It spawned itself later in. Didn't even notice. And... Well, this... The last ship to get into the game? Yes. The last enemy ship. gonna survive for long either. Yeah. I thought that the crime cannons will be the one to finish it off. Well it was the list. And it's that. Too damaged. Ah. This is gonna be pretty much also the last battle for today. And floor. Start repairing it again. It takes some time to share. Listening. Receiving. Moving now. Oops. Receiving. Come Moving on. now. Everybody consolidate. Listening. Bit. Moving out. Receiving. And yeah, this kind of bit. See ya.